grudge match trophy and Mike Milan comes out against All-American Cody Walters, Reno champ, Junkyard Dog with a double, boom! And Mike Vallant from Erie, Pennsylvania. And Walters coming out like normally, not how he comes out. And he shoves him off. We're off the mat. Two old lead Cody Walters. Cody Walters two years ago, eighth. 174 pounds in 2013 for the Bobcats and Joel Greenlee. He's got a 2-0 lead right now on Mike Volant. Volant blocking those boots coming in. He's a PA guy. You know how to wrestle on the mat. Kent State just stole one from Ohio U at 165. OU stole one from Kent State at 141. So we've had two upsets thus far. Could Volant be a second? Cody Walters is definitely not thinking that right now. Walters, a state champion, 160 pounds as a senior, for now defunct, and by defunct I mean no longer open school. Bedford St. Peter Chanel, one of the all-time greatest high schools in the history of Ohio high school athletics period, have won all three divisions in Ohio, which is, it's remarkable. And it's one of the best traditions ever, and not a school anymore, and it's unfortunate. And, always have junkyard dogs and just guys who know how to win and cheating on Walters there a little caution and if you've ever seen Cody Walters he don't look like much his dad looks like something like a guy you wouldn't want to mess with Cody Walters he's got Dean Taylor status I like to call him ultimate master of deception don't look like a big huge yoke guy but just knows how to win man and this guy this got Walters in trouble two years ago at the Reno TOC Championship Finals with Gutches of Southern Oregon. And he actually almost like spiked Walters, kind of came back on him and knocked Walters out. And Walters, this is where he's really good. Left boot in, it's deep. I don't know, he's got such flexible knees and ankle joints, does Walters, is his foot. It's kind of caught weird underneath there. 130 remains. We're halfway through the first. Two a lead. Walters is cranking power half here on Mike Vallant. Could have Mike Vallant in some trouble. Keep fighting, keep Got Volant flat, and he's he's in that rare situation where he's going to have if he holds Volant down almost 257 of ride time. If my math's right, 256. Ooh, he's chasing that power half hard on Volant, and Ohio U needs a fall here. Oh man, do they? Volant, Erie, Pennsylvania, I believe McDowell. And it is Erie McDowell. And there's the stall on Vallon underneath. And Kent State trying to get that trophy and great fight on the bat and the mat underneath right now for Vallon. He has been ding, but Cody Walters isn't bad. Took a Reno title, and that's gonna do the first period. Walters beat, and here's what I'm talking about. Go watch Cody Walters versus Andy McCulley. It looks like a bodybuilder. Russell is just scrappy, Northfield, Ohio, Macedonia, junkyard dog. And Andy McCulley looks a whole frame size, a whole weight class bigger than Walters. But uh, it doesn't matter, because Walters just finds ways to win. Mike Vallant. Going out there with a tall task, taking on all American Walters. Want covers. And now Walters could go head hunting here. And he is going to go head hunting here. Volant 
Walters able to bail on that. 3 0 lead Walters. He's got 2.42 a ride time. And this is not the regular for Kent State. Mike Vermont, normally at 174, they got two time in state qualifier, Caleb Marsh. He's got some rib issues, I believe. Walters came out on fire here. Got to take down the first three seconds and it's kind of cooled his pace. I always give him uh, grief for not having a ton of offense, but man, he came out right away with some offense. He's pushing, pushing hard on Vallant. He runs back to the center. Vallant doing the job I think he went out to, to do, and that's keep it close and maybe snake a takedown in the third. Right now it's effectively 4-0. With that ride time, and, and you got to figure Walters has got to be thinking the bonus points. His team really needs it. They're down 18 to six. It's like control, Mike. Come on. There's a shot by Walters. Another shot. Might be uh, having to get out of the way here. And there's the stall winning a point for Walters. Warranted, no doubt. And actually two shots. Coach Anderson doesn't know what he's... And that is, that is the match. I think there might be a coach's warning coming here. Kevin Lynch definitely warranted 13 seconds left. Walters got to be thinking, I need to go get a takedown here and push this guy around. Maybe get another stall. And end of the... Second, it's going to be a 4-0 lead. Walters going to the third. Valance choice. Going to go underneath. So if you're Walters, you got to be you got to be thinking bonus points here. Definitely needs to get his team back in this one. They need some big points from 74, 84, 97 heavy. And that left boot comes in. Walters is good on top. If he turns Volant's shoulder, he will no doubt be looking for a fall. Walters. Yeah, the line definitely did just feed him a little bit of an elbow. There you go, Mike. Send him off. And is he show his cradle here? He'll make it. And Blunt looks at Kevin Lennox and says, is this a stalemate yet? 115 remains, 4-0 lead. Cody Walters, ride time. I think with 328 is in the bank. I, my math could be wrong, but uh, yeah, it is. It's in the bank, so it's 5-0 effectively. And left boot in. Curl in the foot right now is Vallant. And Walters has got to get a set of near falls here. If he gets it, that'll be a major decision, and quite frankly, they need that. Bringing his hips up. Walters with the double boots in, doing a nice job, riding tough here. Definitely got to be looking for those near falls with 42 seconds left. Oh, cranking power. That was a nice power half there. Tell you what, Mike Lunt's going to have a short right, sore right shoulder this evening. We've got a stalemate with 30 seconds left. Mike? 30 seconds. Hey, stand up right now. Delay boots coming. Together. Cody Walters, right, just together. a winner. And it looks like he's gonna take a barring an unforeseen set of near falls here, which he yeah, can do no, it. No, no, I'm not no, saying he can't. No, no, don't hook that. Ooh, ooh. You don't want to hook that, you want to stand up. Oh, he cranked oh, that oh, shoulder oh. right there. And Mike Vallant's gonna sleep well tonight. Turned it, Vallant. 
fights it, and Cody Walters is going to pick up a 5-0 decision here on Mike Vallant. That's going to make it 18-9. Oh, another elbow! And Vallant threw a couple elbows there, but Walters is just a tough dude. And Walters picks up the win, 18-9, going into 84. He's got a heck of a cheering section here. 